Hi everyone, welcome to our market outlook for 24th of May to 28th of May, and also our stocks to watch. I am Afnan and I'm the Senior Technical Analyst at F1 Academy of Technical Analysis, Sundaram Berhad. I'm also a full member of the Society of Technical Analysts UK. I'm a Certified Financial Technician and I have a Bachelor of Business Management, major in Financial Management from SEGI University. So together with me today is Mr. Fred Tam. Now, many of you will know him, but then those who are new, I will uh, show you a bit his background. But before that, I'm obliged to read to you this disclaimer. So everything that we're going to present today, this market review is for information purposes only and should not be construed as a solicitation to buy or sell any of the stocks mentioned herein. The speaker or his staff may have positions in some of these stocks. Trading involves risk, including possible loss of principal and other losses. If investment and other professional advice are required, the services of a licensed professional person should be sought. Okay, so who is Mr. Fred Tam? He's the founder of F1 Academy of Technical Analysis, Sinjar Berhad. He was also a former fund manager in Yayasan Negeri Sembilan back in 1996. He was also a researcher and this is the fruit of his work. He discovered the TAD system in 2017. It's profitable, easy to use and timely. He's also an educator and he's one of the lecturers for the three months course that we prepare students to take the prestigious diploma exam from the Society of Technical Analysts UK. He's also an author of eight best-selling books, but the ones that are still in printing and available in the market are just the top four above here. From chart pattern analysis until profitability of technical analysis. Now, one of his best-selling books is this chart pattern analysis published back in 2015. So this book, you can buy it from us or you go to any popular bookstore near you. Just go to the finance section, look for bestseller, you won't miss it. And his second best book, The Power of Japanese Candlestick Charts, also published in 2015. And this book is endorsed by Steve Neeson. So without further ado, let me welcome Mr. Fred to our studio. Hi, Mr. Fred, how are you doing? Today, I'd like to ask you about the market because the market has not been doing so well. The coronavirus is still raging, MCO is still not over, and just recently, we nearly had another full lockdown. So with all this happening, I'd like to ask, uh, what do you think of the market this week? And what's your expectation for next week? Thank you very much, Adnan, for the kind introduction. And good afternoon to all. And welcome to our market outlook and stocks to watch. Before I answer Adnan's question on the market and how it's been doing, I would like to just say how good it is. Before I start, I would just like to say how pleased and happy I am to meet you here and to be able to share with you some ideas and techniques that are used by our pro technical traders to make money from the markets. And they use techniques like chart patterns, like Japanese candlesticks, like turtle, atom, dot, fast turtle, etc. to maximize gains and minimize losses. And for those of you who will want to learn these techniques, we have a school called F1 Academy that will be able to teach you because we are a dedicated school to teach technical analysis for the past 14 years already. And we have a track record. For example, in this 2020 cohort exams, we scored 100% passes in part one, 
beat six distinctions out of seven distinctions out of seven. We score 100% passes in part one with merits of equivalent to distinctions. And we also score 80% passes in paper two. And we had two distinctions out of three throughout the world. And the year before that, we also scored 100% passes in paper one as well as paper two. And that is how good we are. One more. The year before that, we also scored 100% passes. So there you are, guys. If you are taking, thinking of taking a technical analysis course okay, to trade the market successfully, we are the one that you should consider. And let me now give you my analysis of the market. So we start with KLCI, and then I'll talk about the mid and the small cap index. The KLCI is the main composite index. And in my analysis, I will analyze the long term, the medium and the short term. The long term being above five years, the medium term being one to five, and the short term being less than one year. So here, you're looking at a 20 year chart of the KLCI. And as you can see in this 20 year chart that primarily, if you look at L0, L1 and L2, the trend is up, right? However, of late, that is since 2015, to 2018, it make a double top. It it uh, it came. It's, it it went sliding down. It went sliding down. So you can see now that it is now uh, doing uh, experiencing a high, which is H2, which is lower than the previous high. So the trend of our CI long term has changed actually from uptrend to a sideways trend in view of its lower high. But because it still have a higher low, okay, that's why we are still in a, a sideways trend. And so the um, our medium long term and medium term trend for the CI is actually sideways. But why do we say with a bearish bias is because currently it is below the 200 day moving average. And it's also below the 50 day average. So traders who are in the KLCI need to be more cautious at this time. Now, other indicators like the RSI are also showing bearishness because it's really below 50. The MACD is also showing bearishness as it is below zero. So the long and the medium term for our CI, the prognosis is sideways with some slightly bearish bias. Now let's go to the short term view of the KLCI, which is the last one year. As we all know, we all experienced the lockdown and the crash from the lockdown on March the 18th, 2020. But thereafter, it rebounded and it staged a short term uptrend. So, in the short term, we have an uptrend up to December, where is vaccinated by H2, which is higher than H1. And L2 is higher than L1. So in the short term, we do have an uptrend up to December. But what happened is from January to now, we slide, okay? And we are making a lower high. 
where h4 is lower than h3. So when you have a lower high, in technical, this is not strong. It is weak. That means the sellers are in control. Every time some buyers want to push it above h2, the sellers come down and sells it down. And it can only, the next push is even a lower high, which is H3. So, and subsequently you have even H4. So when you have a lower high, it means that the buying is just not sufficient, okay, to absorb selling. So we have more selling pressure as a result, causing our CI to go sideways resulting in a kind of an ice cream cone turned sideways. Now, right now, it is resting at a very precarious area, which is called, well, designated as SS. Now, and the CI tested this three times, L5, L4, and L3. If you draw a line across these dotted lines, it will form a horizontal line called SS or support, and which is at the 1550. So right now on Friday, it closed at 1562. So it is resting precariously just above this area. So on Monday, which is tomorrow, it is important that this line or support SS doesn't break down. Why? Because if it does, then it is called a break below support and that is a bearish indication of lower prices to come. So let's watch for 1550. On Friday, fortunately, in the afternoon, some a buying came out and push prices back up again to above this very precarious area of 1550, closing at 1562. And many indices of our sub indices, the 13 indices that we are monitoring have registered hammers or dojis or piercing lines, or haramis, okay, indicating that there is some buying coming out on Friday. So let us now watch, okay, for a possible rebound from this area that can save the index, the CI, as well as the mid and small cap index, which will come after this, we'll talk about it, okay, to rebound higher. So that is a, a, a hope that this is going to happen and that could cause a market rebound. Now let's look at now let's let's look at the other indicators, how the other indicators are faring here. So when you're looking at this, which is the KLCI short term, we have a possible wedge. And if it let's hope that 1550 holds, if it holds, then we'll see a rebound. But if not, then you could expect more weakness and then we can measure this height, the width of the wedge with this X against an X. And that will pack the next support or the target at 1418, which is around the low of 1452, which is L2. So we could see a double bottom. But look, this can only happen if 155 five zero breaks but so far it hasn't so this scenario may not be happening right so let's not even talk about one two eight zero because that would be an old trend line support right at the bottom now let's talk about what if it rebounds on monday which is very likely possibility as well because of the hammers that are formed on Friday. And if it does rebound, this wedge can turn into a back into a triangle, 
and the breakout of that triangle can happen. And if it does, then look for it to test H4, which is 1623, H3, which is 1639, and H2, which is 1695. So there you have it for the KLCI, which is in a precarious position, but there's a possibility of rebound if 1550 holds. But if it doesn't, then it could even uh, drift down lower to a lower support. Let's hope that that won't happen. And now what about the mid and the small caps? Now mid and small cap stocks are those stocks that are, okay, small caps are less than 200 million and mid caps are less than 2 billion. So we're talking about stocks that are less than 2 billion, huh? and these are mid cap and small cap. Let's look at the index. And this index started in on 15 of May 2017. That's all the data we have. So we really only got three years of data. And because there's only three years data, we can only analyze it and call it a medium term trend. Now, if you look at this big chart, mid and small cap, what do you think of this chart? Is it bullish? Still bullish, or I mean this? Yeah? So if you're using technical analysis, uh, the definition of bullish, what is the definition of bullish? Those of you here, well, our students, our graduates, you would know how to define bullishness, and that is you must have two consecutive higher highs and two consecutive higher lows. Do we have it here? I already have drawn it, but let me highlight that. Can you see H2? Is it higher than H1? It is. So you have got a possible uptrend. However, the lows must also be higher. L2, which is the current low, which you saw last Friday, is it still higher than the previous low, which is L1? If it is, we still got an uptrend. So believe it or not, in spite of all the heavy selling the last two weeks because of the Israel and the Palestinian war going on, right? And then the coronavirus coming back to haunt us. Okay, and as a result, there is quite a bit of selling. On Friday, it managed to land at some point and rebound, which we call a resistant turn support point. And we have a hammer okay, around this area. So that will be the short term. So for the medium term, therefore, our view is we are still bullish, but you've got to look at individual stock patterns and also uh, the support resistance as well, because some of the mid and small caps are steady, but many actually are in already a sideways to downtrend. So individual stocks also have got to be analyzed. Yeah? your individual stocks, not only the index, because the index may look strong, but your stock is not strong. So it is important too, to look at that. So let's look at the short term. So the medium term, there is a correction going on. It is stopping here at R turn S. If it doesn't break and bounce off it, then great. If it breaks down, then you have R1 and S1 will be your next resistance and support, which will happen to be where the index was commissioned by the Securities Commission on the 15th of May 2017. So let's look at the near term, which is the last one year. So what you're seeing here is the short term short-term view of the mid and small cap. Now, 
we are of the view that it is perish, but it is oversold. That means it dropped too much in too short of a time. And so we would actually, we are expecting that Monday there will be a technical rebound, at least. Why do we say that? Here are the few reasons why we say that it is bearish but oversold. Now our definition of bearish is when you have got lower highs and lower lows, two consecutive lower highs and lower low. In this chart, you can see that H3 is lower than H2. That is already qualified already. It is in a short term downtrend. But again, H2 is even lower than H1, which confirms that it is in a downtrend. What about the lows? The lows also must be also lower than the previous low. Otherwise, you have a sideways trend. L3, is it lower than L2? It is. So we have a lower low, lower high, and hence why we term the short term to be in a bearish state. Yeah? And also lower than L1. So we have got a side, a short term bearishness. However, on Friday, we saw a reversal in the form of a hammer like pattern. And we saw it in many indices, the 13 indices, and it's seen and it's at the point where the O high was. All right, we'll come to that. Okay, but because of this, now we are seeing a possible bottom due to an oversold. Now, but before that, what are the other reasons why we say short term down? Is because it the price, the index crossed the 50 EMA. That's why we say it's bearish, right? Furthermore, the MACD was below zero already in the beginning of May. Eh? And when it crossed the 50 EMA. So these are the technical reasons why we say it is bearish. However, because on Friday, we saw a hammer at the point where uh, we have an oversold market in the RSI, as you can see, okay, also as it's below 30, this is one major reason why uh, we could, we are expecting a technical rebound. Another reason, okay, is because of the pull divergence on the stochastics that we are seeing. Also, I didn't mention over here on the left-hand side, the old resistance has turned support. So all these are giving us a hint that we could and should be seeing a rebound. However temporary, yeah, that we should see a short-term rebound. And the next uh, target or the resistance to look for is the 50 EMA. Now, let us also look at the outlook of the market based on sector because many of you, you have got stocks that are in your sector, in construction, in steel, in energy. So let's look at the outlook based on sector analysis. Now, we are tracking 13 sectors. What are they? Construction consumer products, and so on. So let's look at construction first. Is it strong or is it weak? The answer is, it is losing momentum. Losing momentum means it is coming down in a waterfall. So it is not strong, meaning weak. So it hands that arrow down. Now what about consumer products? slowing down as well, okay, as they are in a waterfall. Only one of them that is still climbing up the stairs is bad. So that is one possible stock to look at. We'll be looking at that later, again, on in this presentation. What about energy? 
no, no, it's not going anywhere. So it went up and then skidded back. So not going anywhere, just monitoring. Financial services, losing momentum a little bit. So not a stock okay, to look at for now, monitoring it as well. Now, the healthcare is very interesting. This one, several of them are neutral and some attempting to regain momentum, but there are a couple of them that are bright sparks that we can look at. Afterwards, we'll be looking at a couple of bright sparks yeah, uh, in healthcare. Plantations, not going anywhere. Property not going anywhere. Rates not going anywhere. Technology, which was a darling last year, is a no-no now. All right? It was good, but it is not good now. So monitoring this, monitoring telecommunications slowing down, transportation also neutral, utilities. So guys, it is a very rare to see this kind of arrow down, but it does happen. And so where, when that happens, we have got to accept it. And as a, right, cash is king, save a bit more money, put it more in the bank, rather than in the market right now. And um, let's now take, I will tell you why, okay, the construction sector, for example, and many of the sectors, why we cannot touch the stocks or some of the stocks there, okay? It is based on trend. If the trend is up, we'll touch it. But if the trend is down, we won't touch it. How do you know whether a trend is up or a trend is down? Technically, you could connect one low to the next low and draw a line, you got an uptrend. But look, if you are going to do that manually, you got 1,000 over charts to draw an uptrend, okay, to be able to identify and then only um, identify that stock in an uptrend and then uh, make a call a buy. So it becomes very tedious if you have to go to 1,000 stocks. And that's why we invented the technical indicator called turtle, atom, and ducks. Okay, for now, you do not need to know what it is. Later on in the classes, those of you who are serious, we will explain to you and give you the formula okay, of this turtle, of this atom and of this duck. And seriously, frankly, okay, how you determine if it is in an uptrend is when the turtle, atom and duck arrows, it is in the form of arrows are pointing up. If you have three arrows pointing up, that's it, the stock is in an uptrend. See, so we make it very simple, rather than having to use your pencil, ruler, and draw a line and flip every chart. So let's look at G, B, G, A, Q, R, S on the right hand side, on the left hand side of your chart. Now, can you see that th there are three, the arrows are three arrows pointing down? Let's start with the turtle arrow on top. Can you see that? The turtle arrow has given you a technical cell. Okay, it's computerized, yeah? So the computer will tell you that that is not a time to be in. The selling pressure is very high. So stay out. So we have a T that is arrow down. We have an A that is arrow down. And we have a D that is arrow down, three arrows pointing down. And you stay out and see how GBGAQRS continue to come down like a waterfall. Now, so when there are three arrows pointing down, as you see on the left right hand side of this diagram, it is a technical cell. So that means stay out of the stock, all based on 
a computer, a program, okay, some formulas, okay, which indicate to us that whether the buyers are in control or sellers in control. When you have three arrows pointing down, the sellers are in control. What about if there are three arrows pointing up? Then the buyers are in control. And that's how it works. And so you want to look for three arrows pointing up if you want to look for something to buy, purchase based on technical analysis. So coming back to these um, charts, let's look at the second one. Oops. Let's look at the second one, which is WCT. Can you see the arrow down, arrow down, arrow down? TAD is down, hence you sell. And that was a good price, you know, that if you had this position or this stock, if you had disposed of it at 69 cents based on TAD, technical indicators, um, then uh, you have saved some money. Because after that, it just came down in a waterfall and it closed at 47 and a half cents. But WCT, what about George Ken? Same thing, George Ken, arrow down, arrow down, arrow down. And you see it preceded a waterfall. It actually went down in a steep waterfall to 72 cents from 82 cents to 72 cents is 10 cents that you have saved. Okay, based on the TAD down, you stay out, it helped you. Same with it, MRCB, TAD down, stay out. And you see how it just preceded a waterfall kind of a movement in MRCB. I mean, I know MRCB is a great stock. I used to own MRCB uh, as well. Um, you know, it's a multi it's a big, big, uh, you know, uh, company. But then the, um, the timing is not right. Right now, okay, the demand is not there for MRCB shares. And it shows up in the form of highs and lows. You can see that it broke the 50 moving average over here. And then it skidded thereafter. Same with Gamuda on the left, huh? lower left. Now, Gamuda is a great company too, like IGM, construction. However, the timing is not right, yeah? Okay. What about Econs, Bahad? Econs, same thing. So down, MMC is also down, and IWCT is also down. And so you might ask me this question, then when do you go into, back into these companies? Or if I have existing shares to this and I, you know, when do I, if I want to average buy, when do I buy? Yeah. My answer would be, you look for three arrows up. When is that going to come? I don't know. When the market is going to turn around and I, I trigger a buy. There will come a time that all three arrows will be pointing up. It's just that we do not know the time. Nobody knows. Only Mr. Market knows the time. We'll have to wait patiently for Mr. Market to show to us that it is time to buy again. Right now, it's just waterfall. So construction is waterfall. Whereas if you look at some other stocks, they are not waterfall. So it therefore is important to look at this your own stocks, what kind of pattern they are in. Let us look at another sector. And that is the consumer products. Right? Consumer products. Heineken, okay. That is one of them, right? Then Dutch Lady, all these, they are Carlsberg, they are consumer products, yeah? Uh, PW Root, DIY, Aeon, Padini, MSM, my view. So let's look at it one by one. PW root. It was trending for a little while, but now not anymore. 
how do we know? Again, TAD. And that's how um, this formula in the form of a chart arrow can help you so fast in deciding whether or not this stock of yours is still uptrend. If they are still in an uptrend, ladies and gentlemen, the three arrows must be pointing up. If the three arrows are already pointing down, it is telling us, hinting to us, it's in a downtrend. Now, what's the secret of making money? How do we make money in our market? It's only by buying a stock in an uptrend, not a downtrend. Meaning, if it is three arrows pointing down, therefore, what should you do? I think you should know what to do in a downtrend. You can't make money out of it. A downtrend stock. You just got to SA, that's all. D, Mr. DIY, same thing. All right, I can go on and on. Aeon, look at that. Triggered A, three arrow down, and it just slipped. It's just skidded. Hmm? My news, hmm? just beginning to. Hmm? MSM, therefore this, and many of the stocks. So in a way, uh, when you have so many stocks are also in the same kind of a pattern, it gives you a hint. The market must be soft, isn't it? I mean, it's not the individual company are going down. If the company management is no good, only one go down. But how come everybody goes down? That means the sector is no good, you understand? So people are consuming less, I don't know, right? So their profits are getting less. And so investors are getting out. And lastly, Mfla. It was good for a little while, but it no longer is good now. And so how do we know it's no longer as good? Of course, the alternative is to go and check the balance sheet and profit loss account. That's another way. But that's the fundamental way. Uh, but the technical way is the indicators. And we have reduced the 100, 200, 300, 400. I don't know how many indicators are out there and which confuses you so much. We have reduced it to only three that you should look at. And that is the turtles, the atom, and the duck. That's it. You don't need to know all the others, even though the others are useful. There is no need to know because too much information is also not good for you. Huh? Now, on the other hand, bet. It's the other way around. Can you see, there are seven companies here that are down, but bet is up. So we should not just stay out. I mean, even though the market is soft, market is softer, eh? there are still one or two, you know, sterling darling stocks that are hidden inside the haystack. You just got to look out for them, right? So how do we know, sir? Mr. Fred, how do we know if which stock is actually still uptrend? Very easy. Because Due to this design of this software, which writes on share in master station, there is a screener inside there. Oh, I'm telling you a secret. Okay, as to how to pick an uptrend stock. And that is to use the SI screener, share master, screener to screen all the stocks and take less than a minute to screen a thousand of stocks. Whereas if you want to do it, Right, manually, it takes you maybe five, six hours flipping through the charts, you get fed up of it, yeah? But the computer, the software can do it in less than a minute, prop, and look, it may be narrowed down to 20 stocks, 30 stocks for you to choose, and makes it such an easier job. Huh? That's the power of the software, but with the right formula being built in. And we got that formula. Hey, you want to know more about that formula? Call us, 
call our customer service, Miss Cherry, Miss Mary, and they will help you. Coming back to BAT. So BAT is up, right? But when, what was the trigger? When did it trigger a buy? Okay, afterwards, I will have got a more detailed chart of that. We will discuss about that there. But just for now, you would have bought it at 1320. I believe if I'm not wrong, it's 6th of April. And so just within 40 over days, we're talking about okay, about two months here. You have made 21.2%. Now, how good is that? How good is that even in a downtrend when everything is so soft and like there's nothing to play anymore? And people are telling, so some students come up to me and say, Mr. Fred, it can play U.S. market or not. I say, why do you want to play? Because the Malaysian market is so lousy. It's so soft. Yes, it is soft. But even within the soft market, there are one or two you know, that are going, that can rocket up, that are rocketing up. But do you know where, how to find them? Our TAD, our software can find them. All right. Coming back to here, that's how much we make 21% in two months. And that's why our three months cost, which is 25,000 right before discount is so cheap, isn't it? To help you uh, to make 25, 250,000, to help you to make 2.5 million. What is 25? Now, later on, okay, I'll just, those of you who are interested, I'll share with you more about our three months course and so on and so forth. Now come, let's go on uh, to the next sector. So can you see how interesting sector analysis is besides just analyzing the mid and small cap index? How can you know one chart tells all, right? Some inside they are good, some are no good. Yes, but of course they are more no good than good. Okay, maybe out of uh, 100, maybe one is good, two is good. Can you find that 2%? That's where uh, software comes in. Let's go to healthcare. Let's look at Supermax. Down, down, down. Well, not very much down, but still down, right? So stay out. All right, no question asked. Don't have to look for the PL account, how much they are making. They make a lot of money, but it's not reflected in the chart. The chart is keep on skidding, but they keep on making money. Top glove and all 1.2 billion. And everyone go and buy top glove. And it just kept on skidding from eight bucks to four bucks. Right? So that's why we have to look at the charts besides looking at the P and L. Right? P and L don't push the markets, okay? Insiders, okay, syndicates, they push market. And prices are reflecting the, what the syndicates are doing and who is in control, the buying syndicate or the selling syndicate. If the buying syndicate is in control, price continue to rise and you have a higher high and a higher low. But when the selling syndicate is in control, you have a lower low and a lower high. Can you see how useful analysis of prices? Of course, besides the volume as well. All this, if you are interested, they are all in our three months course. Okay, let's continue. Top glove, no uptrend. This definitely is down, 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 but not too bad. Huh? It's in fact sideways now, maybe getting ready for up, but not yet. So we are not buying this yet. Comfort. It's down, down, down. So TAD down, stay out. Next. Rubber X down. Harta down. See how fast we can make a quick decision, a first quick decision, yeah? You, as to whether or not you want to touch this stock or not. Oh, Kosan can touch, but a bit slow. Can touch. Because why? Got TAD up. Now, out of the three, we select on the right, bottom right, Aventa, we are selecting uh, because TAD up and also higher, high, high, low and so on. But basically, just okay, it's got a, it broke through an old high as well. So that's at the advantage, whereas Kosan did not break through an old high. Now, TAD, uh, Aventa, what's 
our ROI. If we had, if someone had entered it, now our white bar, the trigger price is 107. Now it's 248. Therefore, that someone would have procured 139% within 34 days. Now, how good is that to make 14% in a little over one month? Uh, this is incredible, isn't it? Especially in a market like that, people are unemployed. So hard to look for a good investment. And yet this investment can give you hundreds, hundred over percent just within one month. And with the proper guidance, with the proper tools, right? We can detect and identify these stocks that are in the trend. The other one is Care Plus. Okay, so look at it. Not the, the blue chips, the gloves never went up. It is the second liners gloves, like Adventure and Care Plus that went up, which nobody wanted last August. They were going for, for all the other top stocks. But look, now they have beaten the top stocks. If you don't have a software, you would know that it is the best stocks to buy. Profit-wise, they are nowhere compared to the top glove stocks, isn't it? Profit-wise, well, eh? But so why are, why are someone pushing these two stocks? Only they know better. The insider know better. We don't have to know the insiders. We just got to look at the chart, which is like an X-ray or an MRI, and it'll tell you whether that stock is healthy or not. If it is, it's going to make a new high. And that's why, we, that's one of the reasons for going in. It's where it makes a new high, like Aventa. Now, Care Plus is not even better because you look at the blue line there, it hasn't broke through that blue line. Whereas Aventa just broke through the blue line on Wednesday. Right? So I think by now you know what are our choices as to what are the stocks that we are looking for, right? We will go into that right now. So the ROI for Capras, if you had gone in, it's what 179 cents. Right now it's 257 cents. You make 21% in 43 days. Again, like I say, in a soft market like that, to be able to find gems like this, okay, and through the use of our software, indicate that our software, the TAD software, is extraordinary, is incredible. Okay, it's accurate. Yeah. Now, like I say, I'm going to show you in more detail the three bullish stocks and why, why our the software TAD picks this stock. Why TAD picks this stock? Let's look at that. Hmm? Bad. I we didn't even look at the profitability, but if you look at it, you know that it is fantastic. It's even at this price of 16 or 17, 16 it is giving you a dividend yield of 5.1. Wow, which is out of this world. It's even better than some banks, eh? and definitely better than the fixed deficit, which is given you, what, 2%, that's all, right? So this, this, in terms of fundamental, is good. But we didn't look at it from that angle. We look at it from the technical angle. And what did the technical angle say? Look at it. There is a TAD buy, isn't there? When? On the 6th of April this year. At what price? 1320. Already triggered a buy. Now, what was the condition to trigger a buy? Three arrow up, didn't it? Arrow up, arrow up, arrow up. Total arrow, atom arrow, dark arrow. Can you see that here? Oh, let me see. Uh, my pointer pointing to Turtle pointing to atom and pointing to duck. Boom! And then the rocket took off. How high can it go? We can only estimate. And chart patterns can help us estimate with an X is to X, a one is to one kind of extrapolation would put bad at 
20.22 for a start. All right. Oh, many people said 16 is so high. 16 is so high. But if you know that BAT started from 70, then 16 uh, is still uh, in the teens, isn't it? It's not an old man. It's a young, young man. <laughs> Very young, all right? It has broken out of a O high, right? And all other indicators, like just looking at the pattern analysis, okay, it's so bullish, yeah? It's a recovery stock, yeah? So there you go. So we have got a potential stock, okay, that to watch. <clears throat> It's a rounding bottom. And I love rounding bottoms. I mean, you look at the book, look at rounding bottoms. Every stock before they can shoot up the roof, they must recover first from a downtrend. From a down to a sideways trend. And that's why you draw a downtrend line and a break of a downtrend line is the first indication of a trend change. And then a break of the various supports later on a further proof of further uptrend uh, 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 strength of the buyers and that's all added on to an original buy which gives you a further buy technical uh, further buy technically speaking based on resistance breakout yeah so like this one that there's a breakout there's a resistance breakout therefore it's a buy hmm? got it with a one is to one and the target Immediate target is 20. Given that this whole market is so soft, okay, this is a breath of fresh air, isn't it? Let's look at the next stock. Oh yeah, by the way, the ROI for these stocks right now is 21.20. If let's say you follow the TAD and that one triggered a, a long position, a buy position, at 1320. Now, second stock that we are also looking at, uh, and this is a very soft trend. Uh. In fact, um, uh, uh, so we are, we are quite reluctant actually uh, to be looking at anything. Seriously, in uh, a, a climate like this, which is so soft, but you can't help, you know, uh, 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 thinking of entering a stock like this one or bad, you know, even in the stock market because they are just breaking into new highs. So if we follow the rule, there is a buy, technical buy signal somewhere like this one. And like what TAD is telling us, this one, where is the buy? Over here at $1.07 on the 19th, of April, TAD, you can see that, turtle, atoms, and ducks. Okay, and this can be, we, we can literally filter it every day and see whether there are additional buys. There isn't, on Friday there is one, but Thursday there's a shooting star, but on Friday there is a, a compensating, you know, counteract, counter-attack candle, so it's like simmering, it's like going sideways, but getting ready for another assault. Assault up to the next target of $3.07, which is all high, or three thirty, which is a one is to one, huh? based on the zigzag of this, using a zigzag one, two, three, a pattern, okay, to measure it. Now look at the volume. This is not a small play or small fly who's playing it. If the look at the volume is even bigger than the whole of 2020 volume. Hey, who is inside and why are they buying? Gosh, must be some very, very strong piece of news that caused so many people to jump in. And these are big players, okay? So consider that as well. The volume is also very important, hmm? okay? To look at, and that is volume, but we still can be wrong. And what do you do when you're wrong? You know, cut your losses. That's it. As a trader, right? We must be disciplined. And the next question is, if it does come down, 
where did you get out? That is a subject of another lecture, another course. Surely, yes, we will uh, be teaching you where to get out if you are wrong. Let's continue with this. And the next chart that I'm going to show you, now before that, let's do some calculation as to what is the, the profit already you're sitting on. If you have bought at 107, it's already 139%. Whoa, in 39, four days, yeah? Next one, <coughs> cap plus, the same kind of pattern, but it has got, it's like a rounding bottom, but there is a small little rounding, so I call it a, a handle. So you have a cup and handle, which was made famous by Dan Zenger in the book chart pattern analysis, which we wrote. Eh? Three of us wrote this, uh, Mr. K.H. Tan, Mr. Lim Tat Singh, and myself. Eh? And um, the rounding bottom is made famous by Dan Zenger. And we got a rounding bottom. Look, the resistance is 309. If it breaks through, well, we can rocket to the next level of 404. And look at the volume as well. Look, something is happening in this stock. I just don't know, you know, yet the, in, the insider news. Nobody knows except the insiders, yeah? I don't have that information. But we do have a chart which is like an X-ray that can see through the body and know whether or not its inside is still healthy or it is not as healthy as it looks. Then the chart will tell us through multiple divergences and through break of trend lines and break of supports, right? And break of moving average and that would and break of patterns and market tops or V tops, and that will tell us that the health of that stock is no good anymore. And so far, the health of Care Plus is recovering. Okay. And same with Adventa, but not so for the other stocks because they are still in waterfall stage. All right, let's continue. So we have 309 and 404. And the ROI is 21% in 43 days. Ah, so here is an example in Air Asia that we just want to share with you how to use the TAD. Like we say, three arrows pointing up, technical buy. And then we there we have it here around 140, okay, in March. And this was long ago, hmm? 2017. Now, after that, it just went, continued to go up and there is, you can't see any sell arrow. Now, there was a sell arrow here and the atom, but only one out of three sell arrows. You need three out of three sell arrows, okay, if you want to really ex enforce or exercise strictly this rule. Of course, you can say, look, I some Times I would just use one arrow is good enough for me to get out. Oh yeah, you can. You're just being aggressive. You don't want to lose a lot more. So appearance of the first arrow you sell a little bit. And if you do, you sell over here a little bit. When you turn and make a new high, you see there's a buy arrow again. Two buy arrows triggering a buy. And but here you're going to sell again. So you got more tra trades, a little bit of whipsaw more than if you had used three arrows. Three arrows, you wouldn't have sold anything from March to September. But in September, when there are all three arrows down, no question asked, just get the hell out. And that's the way to trade. Hmm? Using the technical analysis approach. But let's continue. So here is the calculation of profit and loss, 83% within seven months. Uh, it's great, huh? a great return. So all this, ladies and gentlemen, is possible, the arrow system is possible uh, 
because of the design of the debt system by me in 2017 and um, it has proven to be profitable and the SI station and this software is so easy to use. We have got support staff okay, that can assist okay, in uh, how to use, look at, use the features uh, of this software. And of course, not to mention that it is <clears throat> timely, of course, sometimes okay, you get a little bit of a whipsaw, but overall, uh, it's, it's overall, the plus are more than our minuses and it's profitable. And so guys, if you want to know, those of you yeah, who finds that, ah, perhaps I should look at TA more uh, rather than just looking at the PNL account, right? Let's look at the X-ray of the chart and how to interpret the X-ray of the chart or the MRI to find out the health of the chart then please come and attend our following courses. Thank God we are here and we have established. And this three months course, guys, is 14 years. I started in 2007, uh, te teaching a STA type diploma, preparing you for the UK STA, Society of Technical NS Exams. You know how powerful they are. They are the gold standard. I mean, if you want to go into Goldman Sachs as an analyst, as a fund manager, as a trader, as a remiser, you better have an STA. If you want to go to JP Morgan Credit Suisse, you better have an STA. And that's what an STA can do for you. It can make you go places, man. All right, can teach in the universities as a lecturer. You can be a successful author like me. Just put in your name with the qualifications, diploma and technical analysis at the back. People will just will take a second look at what you write and what you analyze. And that's how powerful this uh, qualification, the STA is. It's so valuable that even the American Certified Financial Technician is saying that if you have an STA, the Americans are going to give you a free certificate for only an extra 200 bucks. Oh, and that means the recognition of the STA is there. Right? So we have our next intake coming in July okay, for the STA and we really, really hope uh, that you can join us there. Now, but there are those of you who are new, may say, hey, I'm not very sure. I don't want to spend so much money, you know, uh, doing the STA first. Let me, let me just uh, uh, learn a little bit more about TA. Uh, is there any an introductory course, you know, for people like you who are newbies, right, who are not sure whether you want to commit so much money? Is it the type of course that I want to have? You know, you know, looking at the X-rays of charts and all that. Hey, but if I say to you, looking at the X-ray can help you make money. Look, you look at anything if it can help you to make money, right? So there you have it. Now let's go for the first course. The first course is a the basics a course uh, of trading. Okay, this is where you know you will learn how to define uh, uptrend, sideways, or downtrend. How many direction of trends are there? How many classifications of trends are there? How do you know that the trend has changed from down to up and which is very important? How do you, what do you, how do you define support? How do you find resistance? What does a break of a support means? What does a break of a resistance means? If it means anything to you, right? Where is the place to put your stop loss? Where is the place to take your profit? Hey, if you do not know all this, you have no right to go into the market and trade, you know, uh, like a hero, like a gunslinger, and ultimately you will lose to the market because you cannot win, you will not win, you know, all the time 
consistently if you do not have at least the basics you start off with that so you're going to learn basics of trading okay how many directions of trend how many classification of trend like i say how to draw trend lines how to plot it you know and all that and you're also going to learn forecasting methodologies how many methodologies they are you're going to learn trend analysis the importance of trading in the direction of the trend and that's so so important okay and also sector analysis as well yeah i'm going to teach you the importance of trading in the strong sector stocks and all that so all this is going to happen on the 29th of may or from 10 to 1 it's a three hour workshop okay and it's cost 488 they were told me that it cost i said look it's cost you 4800 do you know that i said if we can help you make you know 40000 what is paying 488 isn't it but we are charging you only 188 my god isn't that a steal to learn so much of knowledge yeah a new knowledge yeah? new knowledge that could potentially make you a lot of money yeah? potentially because after this you might want to graduate to a three days course and three months course so it's potential isn't it right and you might even want to go for the the gold standard on technical analysis courses which is the diploma course now so this one well, hey for one eight, eight you're also going to get a free newsletter kind of you can't beat that already la. the newsletter is itself cost you 250 so you're getting actually a free course isn't it so look guys just sign up if you're a newbie give a call to our customer support ladies there they will help you like hell and look if you are a trader like i say just now you got no business to trade the markets unless you know technical analysis really for timing it is technical analysis yeah timing huh? and then where's to when to buy what to buy and when to sell and what to sell you got no business to be in this business of trading unless you know technical analysis and the other thing money management which we teach you in the three days course three months course and uh, i'm going to go to that three days course after this course yeah for the beginner the newbies join this course it's three hours course you get a one month newsletter free and those who are serious who want to learn techniques that works huh? that can help you to pick winners even in a soft market this course should not be missed at all at all it's because it's the f1 turtle course the turtle is already very famous indicator i have written a thesis on it it's my master's thesis and the book is called profitability of technical analysis and inside there it will reveal to you the power of the turtle and how the turtle could help one make money in the markets including the KLSE, the malaysian stock market which i have researched so kindly read through what is cost package just believe me lah just sign it up blah what is four thousand five is it a lot of money if five thousand five four thousand five is a lot of money to you uh, then uh, you are not a trader you know because you can make this back anytime after this course if four thousand five can make you forty five thousand is four thousand five expensive not right it can make you four hundred fifty thousand is this course expensive it is not if it can make you 4.5 million if you're a fund manager this cost uh, is cheap like hell isn't it so go ahead and sign up yeah? this cost is just is good enough for you to make money really you don't need to go to the three months course unless you want a qualification at the back of your name for certain reasons maybe you want to maybe you want to be a lecturer in the university 
or college. Maybe you want to have your own company that is in technical analysis and you want to start a school, whatever. Then you need this qualification. If you want to go to Goldman Sachs, KJB Morgan, Credit Suisse, sure, you need this qualification. So for that, you go for that. Yeah? Go for that one. Go standard. But otherwise, look, I've got students who after paying this, they're already making a lot of money, 450000 maybe even more. Huh? So go ahead and sign up for this course, which is coming soon, 19 to the 21st. After that, there is one donor one, when in September, look, okay. So strike while the iron is hot. Now, but if you sign up, and there is another goodie discount, which I... I asked my staff, why are you giving more goodies? 4,005 is a steal already. For those of you who want to make money from the market, look, this one gives you a software and also the formula or the turtles and atom and duck. Look on the right hand side, the F1 turtle indicator we're going to teach you. Japanese candlestick, chart pattern recognition, fast turtle breakout system, and two methods of breaking out to buy. One is on breakout and the other one is pull back the BOD and the BOB. Look, these are all very valuable knowledge that no money can buy, but we are around. Thank God we are still around and I am still around. So better take advantage of that. 48 hours from now, if you sign up, I give you 10%. Is that 10%? 4,050. And look, that's a steal, huh? okay, close your eyes, just sign up. Credit card also we accept, not a problem. You will be able to make it back from the market in no time. Now, our market is soft today, but it won't continue to be soft forever. And when the bull market comes back, whoa, you are ready because you are already finished taking your courses, you have read the books and all. You had practiced trading and make mistakes out of it. So you know where the weaknesses are. And so when the bull market comes back, yay, you know, you reap the rewards. You reap the harvest. Now you sow the seeds first. You have time because the market is so soft, right? You have time, you learn. And then the time will come when you can use your newfound knowledge to enter and exit the markets to make profitable trades. Now, turtle system came from a very old story. Okay, Richard Dennis and all, when you come for a course, I'll tell you the story, but no need to tell you right now, except that you better believe it that from with 1,600, he grew it to 200 million, right? In 10 years using partly this system and partly to money management, but definitely this system played a large part in the success of the turtles. It is so successful that you Google it, type the name turtle, and you got lots of information to read. I have no problem telling you that this is the way to go and read it and do research first. You may not believe me, but you got to believe the internet because it's all over the internet about the turtle traders. That's how great they are. And yet, even if you know them, right, and you know certain of the formula, you still need our guidance on how to use it diligently, and so on and so forth, yeah? Okay, so go ahead and do your research on that, but just rest be assured that this is an established system. Now, like I said just now, there are some of you who might want to go further and take a diploma, a diploma. We have a certificate course that we have joint venture with Asia Metropolitan University and uh, we are going to give you an internal uh, certificate on financial technical analysis, which is of the same standard as the STA. It's just that you don't take the STA exams, uh, but we prepare you. Can you see this? 
we prepare you for the prestigious SDA exam. Besides the CFT, it's the CSTA that is very important. I saw the standard is there, all right? And um, our track record, even if you sit for the exam, has been phenomenal. We are the best school in Malaysia to achieve a, 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 even 100% a success. So the PCFDA is a three months course. Three months course, not a three days course, all right? And, but it is good for, uh, we program in such a way that even those who are uh, uh, working adults, you can attend it, right? Because we only lecture on weekends, every Saturday, Sunday, Saturday, Sunday, Saturday, Sunday, for three months, after which we prepare you to take the exams and our track record has been good. And people like you, some of you who like to be a lecturer in the university, you need a degree, right? A postgrad a diploma. So this is equivalent to that because if you sit for the UK diploma, it that is a diploma, right? Diploma standard, although here is a professional certificate standard. Right? So what is the cost then? Like I say to you, cost, you know, even the three days cost 4,005 can help you make 45,000. What do you think this? This can make you millions because it teaches you everything A to Z about technical analysis, right? It's worth a lot of money, but we are not going to charge you a lot of money, okay? So now just let me give you the public price. So it is 180,000. If I calculate how much it is at worth, this cost is worth that much. Like I say, even more, but we are not charging you 180,000. Oh, although 180,000, although this can make you 1.8 million, okay, we are not charging you that. We are only charging you 25,320, okay, for the start. But those of you who are very serious, okay, and want to take this course, okay, we give you a special discount. And we are only re reducing, we are reducing it to all, only eighteen thousand. So for a seven thousand discount, okay, you are getting it if you sign up. And uh, uh, and for eighteen thousand, yeah. And one more dis, one more discount that um, uh, Mary just told me, okay, that if you are an early bird, huh? Now, 18,000, like I say, uh, that is already a steal, honestly, for 18K. You get a UK diploma, and I can get you to work in a, a premier broking firm like JP Morgan, like Goldman Sachs. What is 18K, right? <clears throat> but we are reducing it. If you are an early bird, we are still in the early bird stage. So the price is now reduced further than 18,000. We only charge you if you register, if you register on between May and the latest is June, which is one month. Is it one month from today? Then we give you a base price, a steal. You've never heard of this price before is 16,200. 16,200 ringgit for a professional certificate from a UK recognized uh, professional association that is well recognized and that can help you to get entry into luck into prestigious broking firms all over the world and can allow you to do so many other things okay, besides trading in the markets. And that's it. Uh, today, guys, we and our tech students are all over Malaysia. And these are our some of the pictures of our past students. And like I say, it's been 14 years since I last do it. And our results is better than ever. And today, we stand as the best academy to score the most percentage passes in our diploma 
in technical analysis exam in UK. So hurry up guys. What are you waiting for now? We have got our Miss Cherry there and Miss Mary here. Just give them a ding dong and they will help you out. Mary's number is 012-518-8337 and Cherry's number is 017-258-7783. So there you have it. Afnan, I think I'm going to go back to you. It's over to you and uh, you say a few nice words, right? to our audience and guys thank you so much for your attendance today yeah it's very much appreciated we'll keep in touch through telegram and guys the newbies and those of you who are interested in the courses don't forget to register and sign up now before you miss the next big move thank you very much thank you once again uh, for okay. Attendance. Yeah. Okay. Back to you. Okay. Thank you so much, Mr. Fred, for that wonderful insight, and thank you all for joining us today. So, how is it? Technical analysis. Interesting, right? Just by looking at charts, they can tell you the timely entry and exit in the market. Okay. So, technical analysis. That's the thing that we need in trading. So uh, after knowing all that, we hope you will grab this opportunity to learn and pick up technical analysis and apply it in your trading and be successful traders. So we have uh, a few different courses for you. You can choose which one suits you the most for beginner, for intermediate, and also advanced. Advanced is if you're very serious, you want a career in it, you want to be an author, you want to have qualifications, that's the one for you. But if you just want to trade for yourself, then you can take the three days F1 Turtle Stock course. We'll teach you uh, our TAD system, trend analysis, Japanese candlestick, chart pattern, money management, all inside, complete for you to start trading successfully. Or for those beginners, for a stepping stone, then it's the short course, the three hours course. Okay, once again, thank you everyone. Stay safe. See you soon.